Hello everyone, how are you today? Welcome to my channel. I am Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Doctor Education. Those who don't know me, I am a consultant physician and cardiologist in Yashoda Super Speciality Hospital, Nehru Nagar, Ghaziabad, Delhi NCR. And this is my channel. Here I make videos about health and healthcare topics and I give you simplified medical explanation right from the US International Medical Library. And this knowledge is very authentic and the most latest information about that topic. That's why you can trust these videos so i have made a lot of videos on my channel so go forwards and search for your concerned health topic today today i'm going to discuss with you about hyperthyroidism guys hypothyroid i've already discussed in a couple of videos one video was way back when i discussed it in hindi and a few days back i published a video in english so today i'm going to discuss the counterpart hyperthyroidism we are going to discuss what is hyperthyroidism what happens in this disease how it is caused what are the symptoms how we diagnose it and finally how we treat it in a very simplified language so let's start guys if you want to know about health and have health concerns then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon you'll be notified about all upcoming videos like we had discussed whenever there is a hypothyroidism thyr underactive thyroid gland produces less thyroid hormones and thyroid hormones are the oils are the actual engine oils of your body which makes your body tick each and every cell every single metabolic process in your body depends upon thyroxine and if thyroxine is less in your body everything slows down same way if thyroxine is more if you have a hyper thyroid condition that means your thyroid gland is making too much thyroid hormones that will lead to a hyper active situation hyper metabolic situation inside your body so you need to understand what will happen obviously if there is a hyperactive brain it will be difficult for you to concentrate obviously if everything is working hard if everything is working so fast you will become you will become fatigued you will become weak very soon you can have frequent bowel movements you can have hand tremors you can have hair loss you can have heat intolerance you can feel heat all the time even in winters appetite you'll be hungry all the time there will be increased appetite there will be increased sweating irregular menstrual cycles in women nervousness obviously your heart will be racing palpitations will be there restlessness will be there sleep problem will be there and lastly weight loss can also be there sometimes if the hyperactive thyroid is because of the growth of thyroid hormone or a, th or a thyroid tumor or enlargement of thyroid because of extra pituitary hormone production your thyroid gland can become bigger and you can have a huge neck swelling called as goiter so that can also be seen in hyperthyroidism the same thing goiter can also be found in hypothyroidism as well so you need to understand the differences there are certain other symptoms which can occur with this disease which includes there can be breast development in the men there can be clammy cold and clammy skin diarrhea high blood pressure itchy itchy or irritated skin you can have nausea vomiting protruding eyeballs that is exophthalmos you can have protruding eyeballs that is very characteristic you can just look at a patient and tell that he has hyperthyroidism then you can have blushing of your skin flushing all around your skin then weakness you can have weakness of your hips and your shoulders so all these things can happen if your thyroid hormone are more your thyroid gland is hyperactive so why does this happen the most important reason of hyperthyroidism is graves disease we'll discuss about graves disease in a different video but you need to understand that one reason is graves disease second is if there is an inflammation inside your thyroid gland due to a viral infection sometimes uh, medicine sometimes due to pregnancy or lead to thyroiditis which can increase the growth of your thyroid gland leading to hyperthyroidism 
द सेकेंड मोस्ट कॉमन रीजन इज टेकिंग टू मच थाइरॉयड हॉर्मोन्स येस दैट इज वन ऑफ द रीजन इफ यू टेक टू मच थाइरॉयड हॉर्मोन्स यू कैन लैंड अप इन टू हाइपर थाइरॉयडिज्म देन देर कैन बी नॉन कैंसरस ग्रोथ नॉन कैंसरस ग्रोथ ऑफ द थाइरॉयड ग्लैंड और द पिट्यूट्री ग्लैंड विच इज रेयर बट दिट कैन हैपन मोर कॉमनली इन द थाइरॉयड ग्लैंड विच कैन फॉर्म अ न्यू ड्यूल और अ होल स्वेलिंग ऑफ द ग्लैंड एंड समटाइम्स ट्यूमर्स ऑफ योर टेस्टिस और ओवरीज कैन ऑल्सो लीड टू हाइपर थाइरॉयडिज्म बट दैट्स ऑल्सो रेयर देन देर इज ईटिंग टू मच फूड विच कंटेन आयोडीन दैट इज ऑल्सो वेरी रेयर सिचुएशन so the most common reasons are graves disease inflammation of the thyroid gland thyroiditis and taking too much thyroid hormones and non cancerous groups that's it other reasons are far too rare for you to have it but obviously you should consider that when you are being diagnosed then how do we diagnose if you have hyperthyroidism obviously when you come to us we do a complete physical examination a complete history is taken your systolic blood pressure is taken if you have increased systolic blood pressure increased high rate enlarged thyroid gland shaking of your hand swelling and inflammation around your eyes if you have exophthalmos if you have very very strong reflexes skin hair nail changes all these things give us an idea if your thyroid hormones are increased or not but the confirmation is blood test obviously blood test of t3 t4 and tsh these are the thyroid hormones and the thyroid stimulating hormone produced by your pituitary gland are tested in your blood and levels of these confirm if you have hypo or hyperactive thyroid gland then you may have to check your cholesterol levels as well as your glucose levels because they can get low because of these abnormalities because of hyperthyroidism then other test like imaging test may also be done like uh, radioactive iodine uptake scan of your thyroid gland and a thyroid ultrasound can also be done so all these things are done to find out the reason and the intensity of hyperthyroidism then let's talk about the treatment if you talk about treatment the treatment depends upon the cause and the severity of symptoms and what are the options the options to treat is anti thyroid medications something called as propyl thiouracil or methimazole so these two medicines are anti thyroid and can be given in a titrated dose to people who have hyperactive thyroid then second treatment is we can give radioactive thyroid to destroy the thyroid gland and stop the excess production of hormones but there is always a risk of landing up into hypothyroid situation with this surgery or either surgeries rather then third option is surgery surgery to remove the whole or a part of thyroid gland then if your thyroid is removed with surgery or destroyed with radioactive iodine you must take thyroid hormones replacement for the rest of your life because you will become hypothyroid so you have to understand that then medicines like beta blocker may also be prescribed to treat symptoms which is like heart fast heart rate tremor sweating anxiety so until your hyperthyroid is being controlled or treated you might take beta blockers so all these situations all these are treatment options which you have if you have hyperthyroidism then let's talk about the prognosis yes 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 hyperthyroidism is treatable some causes may go away without treatment as well if you are taking a lot of hypothyroid uh, thyroxine hormones and you stop taking them then after a while your thyroid hormones will be will again get back to normal so that's one situation but if you have graves disease that will become worse over time and it has many complications and your doctor will be best to tell you how to manage your life if you have that situations so also you have to understand if you have a hyperactive thyroid gland you have a hyperactive body obviously you can develop heart problems you will have a risk of developing arrhythmias abnormal rhythm of the heart then you can have heart failures you can have osteoporosis because your bones will get used up very fast then your, your calcium is getting being used very fast and calcium will be taken out of your bones and then if you decide to go 
forward with the surgery to remove the gland or a part of the gland then obviously you have to consider the scar which will come with the surgery the hoarseness of voice which can happen with the surgery hoarseness of voice can happen because there is a nerve which controls your voice box which is very close to the thyroid gland and if it gets damaged you can have hoarseness of voice then you can have low calcium levels because the damage because there is there are parathyroid glands behind the thyroid gland and these parathyroid glands control your calcium levels so if they are damaged or removed along with the thyroid gland you will have low calcium levels and obviously you can have hypothyroidism because your thyroid is removed so all these things are complications of the surgery so i hope you have liked this video and you've learned a lot from this video so that's all for today guys hope you liked the video and if you did then don't forget to hit the bell icon when you subscribe my channel and don't forget to check out other videos which are there on my channel about various healthcare topics all our reference guys all our authentic and up-to-date information for you simplified hope you enjoy the videos till next time next time i'll talk about the diet diet which you should take in hyperthyroid people so hope you enjoy the videos till next time stay connected stay healthy